All right, guys, this is a 6950, or is it? There's been a lot of talk about a potential unlock from the 6950 to the 6970. Now remember, graphics card overclocking for a long time has been uh, kind of limited. Like you can, here, this is a 6970. So the one physical difference between these cards is an eight pin connector here, whereas this one has uh, two six pin connectors. So for a long time, we haven't been able to properly overclock a lower end card to a higher end card. For example, the GTX 570 has fewer functional units on it than the GTX 580. You cannot, even if you overclock this 570 to the same speed as the 580, it will not have the same performance. Now, a software unlocking of the uh, the either usually their laser cut or uh, somehow disabled functional units, software re-enabling seems to be back. There, that was the most awkward way of saying that ever. But according to Tech Power Up, the 6950 should be possible to unlock to a 6970. So I have a sample card here and I just want to go through the process with you guys and show you how dead simple it is. So I downloaded the package from Tech Power Up, which has this in it. Okay, so there's wind flash here. I thought I was going to have to do the flashing, uh, do the BIOS update through the uh, through a bootable USB, but it looks like I don't even have to do that because of this little sort of magic thing right here. So this card has two BIOSes. It is dual BIOS, the 6950 and the 6970 both are. They're labeled one, two. So all I had to do was change it to the two position. Okay, that's the first thing I had to do. And then I have to go to flash to 6970. All right, then there's some little instructions here. I press any key to continue. Flashing in progress, please wait. Okay, please restart your system for the changes to apply. After reboot, check the shader count using the GPU-Z included in this directory. So I've already opened up GPU-Z because I uh, wanted to see. Okay, so there's our shaders. That's the functional units I'm talking about. More shaders potentially. Okay, so guys, check that out. Look closely. And we're going to reboot the computer and see if we have successfully unlocked this 6950 into a 6970 and if it really is that easy and takes only a couple minutes now here's something really cool about the dual bios on the 6900 or well, rather the 69 yeah i guess all the 6900 series cards so far have this feature so the dual bios allows you to go oh okay that didn't work like let's say we get a bunch of artifacts all over the screen or it's not stable or whatever we can flash it back as you can see there was a file included for that but we could also just turn the computer off flip the switch to the one position and go back to our original BIOS, just like that. No problem at all. Whereas with uh, with other cards, you can run into issues where you can't, um, you can't boot anymore because the BIOS didn't take, and then you gotta put in another card in another slot and boot to that one, and then manually flash the other one, and it can be kind of messy and a real pain in the, uh, pain in something anyway. Okay, so no, don't always ask me this. So let's find out if we have more shaders now. Hmm. No, we don't. Okay, maybe I did something wrong. Give me time to figure this out then. All right, I have found a different set of instructions on the Tech Power Up website that seems to be quite different indeed. So I've downloaded a BIOS. I'm going to uh, reset with the BIOS switch in the one position instead and see if I can find a way to make it work this way. So stay tuned guys, you're along for the ride on this one, I guess. All right, so now we're running WinFlash manually, or rather ATI WinFlash manually. So the instructions say now to load an image. So I'm gonna go into the, whoops, where are my downloads anyway? I guess I better find those. Linus, downloads, there we are. Okay, so what's that under? Let's go with this. No, I don't think it's there think it was under yeah there we go okay so okay we have the BIOS image there so click load image followed by program so we're gonna click program please wait flashing is in process something 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 erasing V okay this this looks like it took longer so that's probably a good sign your V BIOS was programmed successfully okay cool you have to reboot the system before the changes take effect all right I guess we'll do that so I'll be back in a moment all right, here we have the moment of truth again. Opening up GPU-Z. Here we go, here we go. Hey, hey! 
1536 Unified Shaders. Check that out. So it was that easy. This is not a cherry picked card in any way, shape, or form. And it is now, according to GPUZ, completely unlocked to 6970 spec. So the only thing to do now, once you've unlocked your card, is to okay, extreme benchmark test only, is to find out if it's actually stable. So the only way to do that is to run some benchmarks, run some games, and uh, see if you see any visual artifacts. I did do a video a little while ago where I showed what an artifact was. I don't know what it was called. So unless you are like a really avid viewer, you probably won't know which one it is. But hey, if you do remember the one, please post it in the comments. And guys, please thumbs up on that uh, particular comment so that we can all see what an artifact looks like. So I'm just gonna let you guys stick around while we run at least the first graphics test here and see if the card did manage to unlock successfully. So far it looks all right. So that is a pretty cool little tweak. And I'm getting some funny looks from someone else in the office here who thinks I'm standing here in my office talking to myself. So thanks for checking out my video on how to flash the Radeon 6950 BIOS to the 6970. And uh, yeah, make sure the credit goes where it's due because I am not the one who came up with this. Wizard at Tech Power Up is truly a wizard and uh, we all owe him a great deal for his GPU Z tool, all of his great reviews that he does over there. And uh, this latest trick, which is pretty phenomenal. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.